What's up guys, it's Will Survives and I'm Scoobity Boot Bop back with another one. Hey, hey, hey. Pups are healthy. Woohoo! So last you guys saw I was working on the roof of this cabin. If you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, I'm sorry because I was posting videos of it and I'm not gonna do that anymore. I'm gonna wait till the YouTube video goes out first. But I got video of me building it and doing some things. I got some things to talk about, so stick around. Seven minutes of building, that's it, seven minutes. Yeah, I think 12 feet is my limit. Fair. I don't feel that comfortable. It looks pretty crazy. Okay guys, so I'm putting up these things. I just wanna share with you guys real quick a strategy that I found out on accident, but it's working real good. If uh, you're trying to put up a beam like this with one guy and you don't know, you don't know how to do it because it doesn't make any sense, cut this thing a little long and you can set it on there and then it takes more time because you gotta climb up there and cut that off, but at least you can get those first screws in and leave it dangling and langling and wangling. So I just thought I'd share that. Ooh, can you feel me another screw? Oh. Yeah. It is kind of magical how all the other ones fit in perfectly. We haven't like measured one fucker. That is true. It's going in four inches. Right. Slide in there perfect. Works out.
What's up? I accidentally did it perfectly. That's crazy. You don't gotta add shit. We're ready to go. Crazy. Wow! <laughs> Pretty nuts. Pretty nuts, guy. Let's go grab seven more. I don't feel good. That. So that's where, uh, well, I actually did get footage, some footage, but uh, the roof is done. Now I climbed up there and got the other, other three sheets up there. Boom. Guys, I built it perfectly on accident i didn't have to cut any metal at all and it just fit up there perfectly i i actually don't understand how that happened but it's pretty legit now guys it's not done uh i just wanted to get it up there so that i could have So that I could have a uh, dry space to work. Uh, it's going to be raining a lot. So now I'll be able to work on the floor, work on the cabin under here uh, while staying dry. And I can start collecting water also. But once I, after I build the floor, I'll climb up there and add some more. Woo! Woo! And on the other side, get some more support in there. And uh, should be good to go. Since I just screwed these into the side of the logs with no notch and no nothing um it's not going to be too strong but guys eh, we don't get too much snow here it is it is uh sloped a little bit it's 12 4 on this side and 11 4 on this side and the the ground actually slopes this way so it's probably a little bit more than a one foot drop so rain guys why does it focus so the rain will flow off of it, but snow might stick up there. But guys, I looked it up, 11 to 12 inches of snow yearly where I'm at. And it's really, it's, I, my intuition's telling me it's a hot year. We're not even going to get that much snow and not at one time either. And if we do, I'll just climb up there and push it off. But I did add some long, thick nails. These bad boys, eight inches long, pretty thick, and sent it through, bam, bam, all of the uh, connection points. So it's very, very strong, honestly. Is this how I would recommend doing it? No. 
No, I would uh, I would maybe suggest building the floor first. I'd maybe suggest just getting lag bolts in there first thing instead of doing screws and then big nails. And, but for my unique situation, I wanted to roof up quick and uh, that was the fastest way for me to do it. And I think it should hold. Guys, I also got the rest of the concrete in the post holes uh, on a couple of them like here and there. And over there, it doesn't get all the way up. Uh, but this, these get all the way up, and I'm going to be covering them with... I'm going to try to get clay and make a little volcano around it, kind of pushing water away. But I don't know. The main thing I have to do is just get a nice trench system somehow, uh, diverting water away. I actually started stacking this dirt here because I was thinking of just building a wall. And I might just do that actually too, but I don't know. What would you guys do? This place does probably flood at some point and I got these posts and they're not set professionally at all. But uh, that's what I'm doing and uh, now I need to figure out a way to help that. But now that we got the roof up, it should keep a lot of the water out, out of here, which is cool stuff. I do still have to go back and put water in there. Yeah, guys, there we go. Is is the vision starting to visionize, guys? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? You can see the slope of the roof better from over here. So the ground slopes that way, and I measured. Or the ground slopes. Wait a second. <laughs> I'm going to do some measuring again. But guys, I'm going to have, hopefully, and this is looking like a large bridge, actually, but... A bridge from over here to there this will be the front patio I'm just gonna do a patio maybe a little fence around it um, and then this is where the cabins gonna be I'm gonna live in that six by six box have storage underneath there, kitchen under there build a little floor but it's gonna be open open baby what's up I am going to start on taking down that house over there and I'll be using materials from that to work on the, the house on stilts. I don't know what materials I'm going to use, but uh, I'm going to see what I get and it's going to be super fun. We're going to see. Honestly, guys, if, if you guys have any input, I want to hear it, dude. I'm uh, I got a lot of ideas. And I don't know what to do. Should Does a bridge even make sense? Should I even do a bridge? Uh, should I actually try to make an elevator happen? Should I actually try to build stairs up to another tree house in those trees and make a zip line going down off of it? Oh my God, should I actually try to pump water out from the creek and make like a stream around here or do anything cool like that, guys? Do you guys have any ideas? Um that are minecraft like <laughs> cool ideas uh that will make this a very cool unique structure and homestead thingamajiggy i'm thinking of doing ducks or chickens or both and rabbits uh but yeah no that's actually probably smart you, you guys think i should do that <laughs> it's tough because when you have a homestead you're supposed to be there all the time uh, because there are things that happen and you got to be there. Uh, but I'm also going to be down at the house working a lot of the time. Um, and so it might be tricky. Maybe I could get a cool fenced in area over here where I leave the dogs also and the dogs can help protect the animals. That's probably smartest. I'm, I'm going to do that, I think. What do you guys think? Or would it be like the smart, responsible option to uh, have Jesse watch the animals while I'm down there working on the house? Because I could probably film it. Tripod, I really have to take down these two trees. My Wi-Fi has been horrible lately. It is obstructed, and I believe these two trees are part of the obstruction. I also need them to help give my garden more sunlight. And I could use all of that wood. They're pretty straight. Lots of six-foot straight sections, which I could definitely use for the floor and for the cabin and all that. And so I got to take these down, dude, but they're five feet from the power lines. So they stand right here. Forest is over here. Power lines go right there. 
I probably have to fall him back this way. Do I just, how do I get something up high to pull from the top? Do I need to get like a slingshot and slingshot a rock up there? And even if I can get a rock up there, dude, it has to be heavy enough rock to come back down. And even if it does come back down, how do I even tie it to the tree up there? I really need these trees down, but I really have no idea to do it, how to do it. Um, if it was my property, I'd probably just send it. But dude, I've never done anything like this and I feel like there's a real good chance I could accidentally hit the power lines. Yo, does anyone have any tips for me? I actually should talk to Nate again about this, uh, see what he thinks. I also am wondering if I got any professional tree fellers out here, <laughs> tree, tree feller fellers out here uh, that would want to come uh, help me out a little bit. I just don't want to run the risk of like uh, messing up someone else's stuff. If I take out those power lines, who knows? Uh, what damage I will cause, it will be more than just damage to me. So I don't, a I... little sketch about that one. Jesse has left on vacation. He's going up to Canada. What's up, boys? Um, meeting some of his family up there. And uh, so I'm here alone with the dogs. It's uh, a little bit scary. I've never actually uh, been out here in the woods alone with two dogs like this. I had Hooper back at the old spot, and that was a little tough keeping track of a puppy dog and building and filming and editing and doing all the stuff, living life. And now I got two of these little weirdos that run around a lot, and so I'm going to have to be just focusing on them. A whole ton i'm using the tracking collars and keeping one on also this little little demon man what's up also what's up buddy sit sit hey sit good boy <laughs> dude um so we're, we're going to see how much work I can put in. Yesterday was cool. I was able to get some stuff done. Oh, no, I wasn't. I actually had to put them in the truck bed while I was grinding because they kept running away. But I didn't have the tracking collars on them yet, so I was still a little bit paranoid. We're going to see how much I can get done. I don't want to be leaving them in the truck bed, so I'm going to be watching them a lot. But it's going to be cool. It's going to be a challenge. I am I think I'm still going to be able to get stuff done. I do have to cook my own food now and do my own store trips. Not fun stuff, not fun stuff. I might uh, slim up again um, while Jesse's gone. And I'm gonna I'll make sure I'm feeding the dogs for sure. But like before Jesse came out here, I was like, dude, I'm eating beans and soup out of cans. I don't like going to the store. I'll probably actually pick up a bunch of canned food. For a while he's gone. I don't like going to the store, bro. I'm, uh, I don't like cooking either or cleaning or nothing. If you're a woman and you got the next couple of weeks off, uh, so I'm gonna be real busy, um, trying to get stuff done, trying to make sure everybody stays safe and well fed, and it's gonna be sick. Today I'm gonna go uh, check out the house down there, see about taking those walls down and the. Uh, the roof of that little extension and uh, we're gonna see if I get stung by any wasps or attacked by any snakes and that's gonna be fucked. I really appreciate all your love and support guys it really means a ton I'd be I'd be messing up and reading Instagram comments and YouTube comments and TikTok comments and being like this is what uh, the homies that watch me think but I gotta really just Keep it all separate. You guys are legit as hell, and I appreciate you guys a ton, dude. Uh, dude. 
Hooper sent down this energy ball. Ba bam! <laughs> I'm gonna be trying to be. I'm, I know this one was short. I'm gonna be trying to just be more consistent. Uh, hopefully, a video every day. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Hopefully, a video every day. I hope you guys all have a beautiful day and a beautiful week. And I'll see you guys next time. Willie out. Hey, hey, I make the glizzy flit right the string around the hood, wait for a tug and reel it in. Hey, I reel it in, looking out for bears, cause Willie eat the same food as him. I should probably buy a wood stove, but I can't find one on Craigslist and they expensive at the stove. I'm in my bag, looking for the silky and the axe. I'm in the river, flipping rocks and stones. I'm looking for crawdads.